Gizmo Gage and Blair came from a property in Grundy County, Tennessee. So this particular event, um, there were 16 puppies. What we thought is that people were just dumping the dogs over the fence and she was trying her hardest to, to neuter the males. But it turns out that she was actually trying to run up some profit from the puppies. They were kept on the property in a Great Dane sized crate. So 16 puppies in a Great Dane sized crate, which those are big crates, but that is a tiny space for 16 animals. So that's probably where a whole lot of their injuries came from because they were the three smallest in the bunch. And when we got them, they were covered in feces and urine and just in horrible shape. I'm just thankful that we were able to, to get them off that property. Our Northern Rescue Partner, Great Dog Rescue of New England, they took on all 16, but we called them the Frightful 16. It was around Halloween. They all had scary movie names. So, you know, Blair Witch Project, Gizmo, and then Gage, I think, was the dog from Pet Cemetery. Gizmo, he was the most healthy of the three. Gage was limping on one of his legs, and then Blair had an injured eye. Those three ended up at my house. Of course, we got them in to see a veterinarian. It turns out they all had ringworm, so that's a fungus on the skin. I had to give them sulfur dips every five days, I believe it was, and that just helps kill the, the fungus. It was cold and you couldn't wash it off. They would be shivering afterwards, so that for the ringworm, they really didn't enjoy. Gage turned out, the x-rays were fine, did a little bit of stretching and and even just moving around the house and um, being a normal puppy helped that sort of work its way out. Blair, she had a lot of trauma to her eye, probably from it getting poked by the other puppies, so she ended up needing her eye removed. So I had to keep her tiny little head wrapped and make sure that she had a cone and the cone was like this big, it was so small. For 10 to 14 days until her uh, stitches came out. She really didn't mind her cone. She would kind of whack it into things on accident. And I'd give her time away from her cone when I was home. Since they were so little, I don't think that it really affected them too much. They were really shy in the beginning. I kept them in my spare room for them to acclimate to their new surroundings. They really came out of their shells pretty quickly. Ah! Blair was the boss of the three of them. She had a real spunky personality. She ran around the house like she owned the place. She had the cutest little like body. Her little legs were so short and they she kind of was pigeon toed in the back. So she just would, you know, bounce around the place like, like it was hers. Gage was a little bit more reserved of the three. He loved to play with his siblings, he liked to snuggle, and Gizmo was a goofball. Like, he would slide off the couch on accident, and he loved to sit in my lap and then sit where I, you know, couldn't see the TV. He was just an all-around, just goofy little dog. Great Dog Rescue New England found them all homes, really loving homes. Blair, I still keep in touch with her adopters pretty regularly, and they've adopted another puppy from me recently. Gizmo, his new name is Dax. They'll post on Facebook every once in a while. And, and then Gage, I can't remember what they changed his name to, but um, all three of them live in super happy lives in New England and definitely much better than where they came from.